Hey guys, this is a quick tutorial on how to go about installing the official CM10 night lease for the Samsung Galaxy S3. Uh, a few things you need, of course, pre-install is you need at least 50% or more battery life um, before you know starting any anything else. Because if something goes wrong with the with the actual install uh, and you get stuck maybe in a boot loop or something like that, um, you will be uh, you need some battery life to get to you know to be able to get back to your current ROM. Also, I would suggest you make a backup of your current ROM just in case, just like because of what I just mentioned. If anything goes wrong, you're able to come back to this one and you know give it another try. Um, so, uh, for the downloads, what you need to go is go to uh, the browser, and what you need to look for is get. dot cm. Get. dot cm. Uh, here, you know, bring up a page, a bunch of downloads. Uh, so on the left side here. It gives you all you want to go is uh, nightly because there is no stable ROM, uh, ROMs as of right now for the Verizon Galaxy S3. So then you're gonna scroll down to where it says D2 VZW right here. Okay, so click that, and uh, here are all the nightly build, nightly builds. So you want to see that you are on the current one. So I want the 928, which is today. And when you're ready to download, just hit this link right here the stop one it says nightly it'll you know actually start the download which mine already finished which is right here uh, so also you'll need the G, uh, G apps which I'll provide a link to I just don't want to go through the whole procedure and I'll just provide the link to the G apps as well do the same thing download them just like you did the CM mod uh, sign as your mod build here uh, once you have all those items make sure you're uh, well, I, the way I go to recovery is go to easy recovery uh, click on that and I already have twerp installed so I want I'm just gonna go ahead and reboot into recovery click yes and let it reboot mm -hmm. to enter recovery and do the install this will just take a second here as you can see it's fairly quick all right so once you downloaded the ROM, if you use Torp just like I do, uh, before doing anything, before wiping anything, just to make sure that you have the ROM and it's the right folder, go to install and see if you have the, the file that you downloaded, which is mine is right here, CM10-0928, uh, which is the nightly build that I just downloaded from the, from the website there. Uh, I also have my G apps already you know, downloaded. I'm going to provide a link for those too, uh, just so you guys have to have those. So these two go hand in hand. Um, I wouldn't, you know, start just downloading the actual ROM by itself because um, then you don't have any Google apps. So install the GM apps. Uh, G, I'm sorry, the Google apps as well. Okay. So go home here. You're gonna wipe factory and then scroll to the right. Wipe. Uh, pretty much do a factory reset. Go back. Uh, do a cache uh, wipe as well. Swipe to the right. And the last thing here you're gonna do is dabit cache. So up to the right, that was always really fast. I'm gonna do a fa another factory just just to, just to be sure. <clears throat> you can do it as many times as you want, but I, I always do it twice. Okay, so now you're uh, you're ready to install the actual ROM. So go to install. Go to the CM10 nightly D2VZW zip. Click on that. It'll give you a bunch of things. Just go ahead and swipe. Uh, so let it install uh, CM10 uh, builds are usually pretty quick they don't take a while so just give it a moment here it's gonna go ahead and file uh, flash all the files that you need <coughs> as you can see it's done completed so now what you want to do is uh, go back to the, it says home, reboot system, or, or wipe down with cache. You want to go home, press home here, and then go to the upper tab, which is the install tab, right here, install, and then go to the G apps, right there. Uh, let me focus in real quick, G apps, jelly bean folder, uh, little file, zip file there, go ahead and click on that, and then go ahead and swipe across. As you can see, it's downloading and installing. I'm sure it's installing the actual file here. That one's also also really quick uh, as to install. So give it a moment. That's it. Uh, so what you can do from here, you either go home, 
press the home button here or it says here it gives you an option go uh, go home reboot system or wipe that with, that with cache uh, reboot system from here and just let it boot up mm -hmm. <clears throat> and you should have the official CM10 nightly build uh, installed so what you're gonna do now is just go ahead and go through the setup steps and you'll be ready to go but uh, let me just show you how it works here show you the boot up screen it's really simple it's really fast um, it's just that you want to double check everything that you're doing everything correctly you don't want to you know rush into this especially if it's for if it's your first time um, you want to do it right you don't want to break your phone or anything way okay so you see once these you know but bottom buttons light up it says it pretty much means it's it's getting ready to get started here just gonna give it a few a few seconds just to finish up Again, if you get stuck somewhere, guys, uh, don't forget just leave a comment underneath. Um, I'll be more than glad to answer the, uh, your your questions and uh, go from there. Um, here we go. We're uh, on the setup screen here. So what you're gonna do is start and you know go through the procedure here. I'm not gonna do it for now, just for sake of uh, not doing it. I'll do it later. I just want to get you guys to the home screen. Uh, let's see if it'll let me. I'll just put whatever. Get done and then go through finish okay so you are running jelly bean uh, CM 10 nightly build for the 28th of September um, so here you go you got all your apps here um, once you sign into your uh, Google account your Gmail uh, at the beginning of the process of the setup process it should uh, bring back all your apps. It should download uh, download them automatically. So and we'll put them. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish the video here. Um, and like I said, if you guys have any questions, please com uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. Thank you very much.